Here is a closer look at three highlights from our online exhibition for Asia Week New York, held at our gallery here in Mayfair this year. A bold and dynamic painting from the second Gula Gita Govinda depicts the episode where Krishna attempts to enter Mathura for his final confrontation with Kamsa. We see him overcoming the enormous elephant, Kuvalayapida, sent to prevent him entering the gates. The teenage Krishna, egged on by his gang of friends, has already wrenched out one tusk, and here brings the elephant to its knees, crushing its keeper. By a master of the first generation after Manaku and Nainsuk, our folio is as finely rendered as we'd expect from this great family of painters, but is especially unusual for its composition and subject. Unlike the rest of this Gita Govinda series, our painting and its sequel in the Rietberg Museum focus on the dramatic over the romantic, and our folio's elevated viewpoint is also innovative. An important double-sided royal album page brings together folios from two different painting traditions, Kota and Lucknow, from the early and mid-18th century respectively. The vibrant Kota painting on the verso reflects a growing intensification in devotion to Krishna during the reigns of Bhim Singh and Arjun Singh. Krishna and Radha stand facing each other, laden with jewels and enjoying wine, suggestive of the intoxication of young love. The recto, by an accomplished Lucknow artist, is sensitive and fine. A nighttime devotional scene of Hindu women visiting a Shiva Lingam shrine under the stars and crescent moon. These albums are known for their lavish borders with gold foliate scrolls. Finally, this wonderfully distinctive object, a Dutch belgere or plaited straw hat from circa 1750, lined with an Indian chintz from the second quarter of the 18th century, made on the Coromandel coast for the European market. This rare piece shows us the extent of far-reaching exchanges in material goods and fashionable dress at the time. Contemporary records show how prized and fashionable these Indian cottons were. Our example may have been originally made as a petticoat, with its owner repurposing a section for this hat. The Rococo design of our chintz, with blossoming florals and foliage, including carnations and diamond-patterned arabesque, is almost identical to that on a petticoat dated about 1750 in the collection of the Victoria and Albert Museum.